the orange one here. So we are back near the car. Uh, we've got pretty much a clear path to the bookstore, I think, um, from what I last remember. There was actually not a clear path. There's quite a few zombies still out front. And there's... yeah. It looks like this episode we're gonna have a fair amount of fighting too. I mean, it's nothing we can't handle. It actually looks like some of it's blob. So that's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, but we do have our rucksack on, which we don't really need. Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna just put down the bear trap here. And then try dumping the rucksack there. Yeah, come at me, doggo. Oh, you you dodged that. I was not anticipating such a thing. Uh, these guys are going to come at me, though. And now those guys from up there are coming at me, too. Okay. Well, we'll just do what we do best, then. Hopefully that dude's going to run onto that one bear trap. Nope, he's dodging. Being a crafty little dude. And there's actually quite a few of them that have seen us, so maybe we want to fall back. Because we don't want to have even more of them get attracted to us. Well, our bear trap is being used up there. While that's the case, I'm just going to pull these guys down. We're going to have to take care of them the old-fashioned way. Let's just take our aim, and we'll take him out. You know, I know we could, if we really wanted to, just be a little bit more edgy and use some explosives to draw them out. I am tempted to do that. Yeah, just drop that. I think if we don't get any real progress, I might choose to do that. Um, do I want to Jane the rest of these guys? I think I do. I think I do. Can I get the Jane out? Yeah, just put that in the holster. Yeah, it's fine. These guys are kind of spread out, and we're pretty far in front of them. So I think that we can take them out as long as we're not getting overloaded by them. Yep. And survivor's pack just got ripped. We also are tired, so we need to be careful about this. Is our friend getting out of the car? I, I feel like he is. Let's just go hide behind the grass. That should slow down the kids. There we go. I'm looking at. I'm hoping to get. And easy peasy. And that thorny shambler is going to end up shooting us. The boomer is going to end up spitting on us though, isn't he? Yep, and now we're blinded. And poisoned. We're blinded and poisoned. Um, back holster out. Yeah, I, I want to keep the Jane. And there we go. Well, we came down to the last bolt there, but we did, we did it. Um, I'm gonna just reload here, and let's go ahead and pick that up as well. I mean, the thing is that I I like about the strategy is that we seem to be getting. A good amount of experience and B um, relatively clear path to where we want to go. You know, we could loot the candy store. That's definitely something that we could do. I've also been thinking that there's our bear trap somewhere around here. I don't know why the zombie didn't step on it. Oh, yeah, it's still up there. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't be setting up our bear trap so far up here. Uh, the group's so small, I think that we can handle it. I'd like to take out the streaker 
sooner rather than later because that's going to attract some of their zombies down right we'll just wait by our bear trap yeah you can I think we can afford to let you get close Mr. Rotting Zombie okay, this step over here yep you're trapped now your friend Ooh, your friend's actually nearly dead. Nice. And they're both taken out. Let's try and get that bear trap back. Nice. Oh look, he's got some V8. Nice. And some pink tabs. Will cause hallucinations. Well, we are used to that. I'm not going to do it though. We're going to have some of that V8. Because that is really good for our health. Um, we'll stay by our backpack for now. No, I'm going to take a few steps back, get the bolts. Okay, we're good to go. What is going on up there? Is that blob? Yeah, it looks like the blob is... Is there like an amoeba or something around here? that amount of blob I feel like there's an amoeba so I'm just gonna loop around the building here and have a peek and see what we can find amoebas are pretty interesting enemies basically if they I think it's if they kill a regular enemy they like absorb them and turn them into other blobs or something like that We do have some zombies here. You know, I think I think the blob is fighting the zombies. And if that is the case, I think we're going to be able to go and get into the bookstore. But yeah, the blobs are struggling to stand. I'm going to try and make my way into that bookstore, keeping our distance. Yeah, I think... As long as I'm quick and we bring a big backpack, we should be able to grab everything that we want there. Okay, that, that big group's coming our way, I think. Maybe not. I'm just going to walk our way up here and check out what we got in the bookstore. Okay, let's check this out. And let's look at these books. Um, what's a transistor? I definitely want that. For sure. Machinery handbook? I also probably want that. Okay, so, sorry if that was an awkward cut, um, I, it's literally been like a day since I was last playing, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get Rules of the Road, I don't think it has anything super useful in it, but I'm not sure. Uh, we do have a fair amount of danger around us right now, so it is giving us that special song. Um, maybe stop running? Blobs don't seem to be coming towards us. Uh, let's just check out... yeah. There's not really much else here. Indoors. We might be able to get out through... this exit right here, I think, without that zombie getting in our way, but then we're gonna be on the other side of the... Uh, I close that. Now I'm gonna close that too. I think that we're we're in the clear. I think that that's this place we looted. We got just about everything I wanted, and now we can see that there's uh, also the Barons of Foreign Affairs that we wanted to go check out. It's a baseball field, houses, 
You know, there's probably some stuff in these houses. We should probably clear out the zombies, but we also don't need to. You know? Like, that's the thing about Cataclysm, is that you don't really get any reward. Um, besides, of course, loot and experience for killing a ton of zombies. There's not really much point in uh, going overboard. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, what we could do is we could just drive around here. Because part of me wants to just see what's at the end of some, some roads, like, what's at the end of these roads. Um, so we could like drive up and around and go up there and check that out. Um, we are definitely going to over get overran though if we don't run a little bit. Uh, hold on, I I did not mean to turn debug mode on. That's um, the button that I have for debug mode is also on my direction buttons, but it's like different modes on my keyboard and I accidentally switch between the modes on the keyboard. There we go. I think that we're in the clear now. We should be able to get the most part away from the blobs. I don't know if they're gonna keep on coming towards us or not. I think they are. The grappler zombie is engulfed by the big blob. Does that spawn more blobs? feel like that's what what happened like the blob mechanics have kind of changed so they can create more blobs or something if that's the case we might want to fall back I mean I don't know what's worse zombies or blob but I'm familiar with with zombies go ahead and put that bear trap down and we'll just wait maybe not that is an awful lot of blobs coming our way that Rottweiler, if we can get in the bear trap, would be nice. There we go. Yeah, I think we might want to just dip out of here. Because they are still coming our way, and we are at the car. And there's, like, there's no real point in us fighting. We're not... I don't need to prove anything. Uh, I need you to come with me. Let's go, and we'll just get in the car and get out of here, right? I mean, I wanted to check out this evac thing as well. The last man on Earth it would also be nice to check that out. Let's speed up, and then we're gonna go a little bit off road, which is gonna be gonna go kind of slow. I kind of want to get either. So here's a couple things, is we can either get more tires on this, or a stronger engine, or some combination of the two. Is that a fire fighter truck? If that is, I kind of want to pick it up, because it'll have the fire extinguisher things, um, which I was thinking of attaching to our car. I don't know if you, you can spray like other liquids out, but... I think you can. And if that's the case, I was I was uh, gonna get that for a deathmobile. Let's just hold up a second. Uh, so just next to us here, um, can I put these books in the vehicle? Yes, we can. And. I kind of want to get the toolbox because we're going to need that to remove the uh, fire hose attachment, I think. Do I want to fight these guys? I think I want to fight these guys. Yeah, come here. We can take you all out pretty easily. Our friend actually is going to take you out. Um, hold on. The other zombies coming towards us. And of course, our friend, being a little bit overzealous, is now going to start punching him. Now he's reloading, I think, so we're back in uh, control here. You're trapped. 
which means I don't really need to kill you, but if I do, then I get my bear trap back. If we get my bear trap back, then we can do a little something like that. Um, no, never mind. Like that. And then you get trapped. And then I'm gonna get that and activate it again. Come here. Oh man, really? You're gonna do that to me? What if I go here? There we go. And of course that's out of bolts. Let's get our other bolt driver out. Just drop this other one. That's fine. We got a little bit closer so that they're tempted to come to us. Yep. And then let's reload. Flash, pick up our bear trap again. Um, and I'm going to activate our holster. Put that there. And then also pick up any bolts that our friend has not also picked up. I think that we're good. Yeah, go ahead and reload up a little bit. We'll see, because we got our toolbox. We should be able to get... Actually, first of all, what items are here? Because they do have some pretty good stuff in these uh, fire trucks sometimes. Of course, it's all stuff that I already have cleaned. But it's all in nice condition. Now I'm feeling kind of dumb for like repairing all that stuff, but we hadn't found one of these, so not that bad. So if I look here, there's a water cannon. That's what I want. Um, is there only one water cannon? Where are the other water cannons? I don't see it. We've got floodlights and water cannons. We definitely want that water cannon. And sure, take the turret mount as well. And I kind of want the floodlights, I think. Circular light. Kind of want those on, on the side of the, the car, I think. Okay, so we got all that there. Let's go get the car, and we'll just get nice and close so that we can get those attached. We'll just back this up a little bit. I think that we'll be able to do the work from here. We do something like that. Now the question is, how do I want to attach that stuff? We already have a turret mount here. So can I install the water cannon there? It looks like I can. Yeah, let's do that. Can I repair it? It does not look like I can for some reason. That is strange. Um, we also have floodlights. I kind of want to put the uh, floodlight right there if we can. I don't see the floodlight as an option right now. If I look here. Install. Yeah, I don't see a floodlight. Hmm, very strange. Doesn't look like I can install that there. Maybe it's got too much stuff on it. Yeah, it's got too much stuff on it. If I go to here, floodlight. And like here. We'll have to see how those perform actually. Um, oh, we've got tons of duct tape. We'll have to see how those perform during the night. I think that we'll be able to get a good amount of, uh, of light from them. Um, do I want to go here or there? And there's probably... There might be an NPC here. That is something that... I do want to kind of check out if that's the case. And also, hold on, uh, turrets, 
pirating mode. Turret control required for auto mode, so we actually do need to do it um, ourselves. Okay, so I kind of want to check out the last man on Earth shelter. Let's go drive up to that. We'll see what we, we find there. I mean, it's most likely not going to be all that much. Is that a zombie that's right in front of us? No, there's like human corpses. Okay. That's uh, interesting. You see that? That looks like something that's like alert. That's a human corpse. So I think, yeah, unfortunately there's going to be some zombies that are going to detect us if we're coming here. There's not too many of them. We're okay. Can I have some gum? Hello. Why don't I try and get you all away from the car? That'd be nice. There we go, that one's down. And this one's gonna be, yeah. Down any second now, I was just gonna say. Then we're gonna get that fat zombie, they're coming our way. I might just bear trap them. Let's try and get, oh, of course. Come here, there we go. Pick that up. Pulp you. Our friend's gonna be reloading for a while, I think. Okay. Well, while he's reloading, I'm gonna go check this out. Because it's not gonna be that long. Oh, can we go on top of these things now? Oh. Oh, geez, we fell. I feel kind of bad. That's uh, that's interesting. Okay, well, we're not going to try that again. It is dark down here. I should probably have brought my flashlight. Oh, look at all this. Earplugs? Nice. So that means that we can uh, easily use uh, guns and they're not gonna, it's not going to be really annoying. File set? What? Man, they keep on adding stuff to this game. We just got one of those. What is this? Is that a heater? It's an air filter. That is an interesting device. Uh, horseradish? Yeah, let's pick up the horseradish. And there's water. Yeah, sure. Why don't you just drink a little bit of water? Oh, look, our friend came and joined us. Water purifier. There's... They've really updated this place. I like it. Got some nice uh, additions. We got a little workout room slash. I think this is medicals. Yeah. Sure. Little medical area. Little workout room. Man, this is a really sweet last man on earth shelter. I really like these changes. If you can't tell. Um, is that a gun safe? No. Just some clothes. And what's this? Hand crank charger. We have one of those already. A riding saddle. <laughs> nice. We wanted to get a horse, that would be perfect. That's a. This is a really cool location. If we had a need for a base, um, then we would totally use this as a base. Why don't we just wait a minute? I think we are carrying too much stuff, is what the game is trying to tell me. There. So we've looted that. It's pretty good. And we got a fairly clear path if we wanted to drive up here, which I am tempted to do, because I feel like these ends of these roads up there are going to have like a lab or something. There's also a school that we could go to. So many choices. We've got too many choices, folks. 
Let's uh let's take those bullets. I'm just gonna dump the magazine. We don't really need the magazine. Where is it? Did I just put it down? Yeah, I did. Uh, I'll take the bullets at least. It's because we're so encumbered. Um, hold on. Let's just put that in there. This stuff too. That's looking pretty good. Man, Nosh must be pretty stoked about how things are going. My little psycho. Love and life. Yeah, I, I, I do want to scout out that area. It just... Why not, right? I mean, it's only 10 a.m. We're going to be able to see plenty. And I feel like... Nosh, he's gotten his kill of kill, or he's gotten his share of killing. He's ma he's made a killing in the killings. There we go. That works. And he wouldn't mind. Oh, a little more uh, adventuring. Let's get out of here. I don't think that that's a military grade vehicle. If it was, then I at this point. I really don't care for wreckages. I just want um, something with military grade tires. Can't really get much useful stuff from anything else. Speaking of which, I think we might have something here. Let's uh, let's just. Is that 85 rounds of this military grade ammo? I think that is. If I'm reading that correctly. Yeah. <gasps> it's armored wheels. Dudes. Let's kill that zombie. We are clearing out this area and we are getting ourselves some wheels, yo. I am beyond exalted about that. Are you gonna come towards me or no? Are you gonna oh you're gonna smash my car? I see how it is. How do you even know that my friend's in there? Well, we're going to take aim at you and we're going to take you all out. It's worth it for the tires. Uh, yeah, get the bear trap. I know it's we're kind of encumbered. What is that? Skeletal brute. Can I Tempt him to come over this way. I... yeah. That skeletal brute, I think we're gonna want to get in that bear trap. If I know anything about brutes. Uh... hold on. Let's just take a step back. Oh man, I keep on thinking that we got enough time to kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna not attack the Skeletal Brute. I think we might have to finish this in another episode. Yeah, I'm looking at the time, and it's been about a half hour. We'll finish this up in the next episode. We'll get the tires, and we'll clear out this little area of zombies, and we'll, we'll roll from there. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.